Hello everybody! This video is about how to fix damaged or deleted system files in Windows 10. It can happen because of their incorrect use by the operating system, because of hardware failures or system errors, as well as because of malware activity. There are several ways to fix system files in Windows 10. The first method is to use the command sfc scan now in the command prompt started by the administrator. To do it, right-click on the Start button and click on Command Prompt Administrator. Then click Yes. Then type in the command SFC Scan Now. Press Enter and wait for the process to be completed. The disadvantage of this method is that Windows 10 may be unable to, co to correct some of the found damaged files because they are being used by the system. Now in my case, the scanning is over and Windows has found no integrity violations. Unlike the first method, the second one doesn't have such a disadvantage. To use it, start the command prompt in Windows 10 recovery mode. You can go to the recovery mode with the help of a previously created recovery drive or flash drive, where in the second screen you need to select System Recovery, and then click on Restart in the system blocking window while holding down the Shift key. I will use the last variant. To do it, go to the Start menu. Click on User Account and then Exit. In the System Blocking window, click on Power and then on Restart while holding down the Shift key. In the Recovery mode, click on Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, Command Prompt. If you are using a recovery drive or a boot disk or a flash drive to get into the recovery mode, you will not be required to enter username and password. If you are using the same method as I am, then you will have to enter the administrator's password. Click on the user account and enter the password. When in the recovery mode, you cannot just enter the command SFC scan now, because the drive letter for the disk containing the operating system could be changed. To know what drive letters are there at the moment, enter the command disk port, press Enter, and follow it by list volume, press Enter. Now we are interested in the following drives. The system reserved disk containing the bootloader, in my case this is drive D, and the drive with Windows operating system, in my case this is drive C. After we have learned it, type in the command exit, enter, and then the following command sfc scan now of boot dir equals D of win dir equals C Windows and press Enter. In this case, damaged system files are found and fixed. In some cases, this process can take up quite a long time. It may seem to you that the command prompt is frozen and doesn't respond, but you are wrong. In my case, after the scanning is complete, we can see the report that no damaged system files have been found. The third method. Run the command prompt as administrator and enter the following command disn online cleanup image scan health. With the key scan health, system files will be checked for errors and the corresponding report will be shown. Or you can enter the key restore health, 
which runs both the scanning and automatic correction of errors. Press Enter and wait. It may seem to you that the command prompt is frozen and doesn't respond. But you are wrong. The process can take up from 15 minutes to over an hour. Thank you for your attention and good luck! If you like this video, click the like button below and subscribe to our channel to see more.